Walter. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank you. You bet, Andy. Congratulations. Oh, thanks. I'm overwhelmed. What's that in your forehead, pal? What, where? That right there in your forehead. A senior partner in his law firm notices a telltale mark on the forehead of a lawyer played by Tom Hanks there in that scene from Jonathan Demme's new film, Philadelphia. The senior man guesses correctly that it's Kaposi sarcoma, a skin disease associated with AIDS, and suddenly Hanks is fired from the firm where he thought he was highly regarded. Some people think you have an attitude problem, Beckett. Really? Who thinks that? I do. This is, of course, blatant discrimination, and when his old law partners start pretending he was incompetent, Hanks decides to sue. Most of the law firms in Philadelphia won't take his case. They don't want to make powerful enemies. But Hanks finally finds a lawyer who will represent him. He's played by Denzel Washington as the kind of flashy personal injury expert who advertises on television. I misplaced an important complaint. That's their story. Want to hear mine? How many lawyers you go to before you call me? Nine. It's a cliche in aid stories that the patient's family is intolerant and bigoted, but it's a cliche this movie avoids, as in this scene where the dying man and his lover, played by Antonio Banderas, are at home with Hanks' family. Joan Woodward plays the mother, and her speech to her son is one of the movie's quietest but most effective moments. I didn't raise my kids to sit in the back of the bus. You get in there and you fight for your rights, okay? Mary Steenburgen plays the defense attorney for the law firm, which claims Hanks couldn't have been fired for having AIDS because he kept it a secret. Hanks makes his own most effective witness. Uh, what I love the most about the law? Yeah. Is that every now and again, not often, but occasionally, you get to be a part of justice being done. Philadelphia is being billed as Hollywood's first movie about AIDS with a big budget and big stars. Tom Hanks is very good in this movie, embodying all the humanity of the character without resorting to tear-jerking tricks, and I think he's sure to get an Oscar nomination. But the screenplay itself, I think, could have been a little better. Somehow, once the story gets into the courtroom, the truth and spontaneity of the earlier scenes gets absorbed into the old and familiar patterns of courtroom drama. Still, it's a powerful film. I had the exact same reaction as you, that Hanks' character is uh, compelling, but the courtroom story is really sort of mm -hmm. hack. Um, and it's a shame that he's put through it. I do recommend the film for one thing that Jonathan Demme does. I think if there's a visual strategy and image to this film, it's Demme saying, let's look at AIDS in close-up. Mm -hmm. Here are the sores. Look at me. Because I think that uh, what AIDS victims must feel, among many other things, obviously they're going to die, is that people won't look at them. They won't even acknowledge them. And so his camera is used to pan down the face, pan down the body. Here it is. Look at it. Look at it. I'm a human being, and that's well, you know, the strength that of the film. Well, you know, that whole part of the film, and, I, and I'm serious when I said that John Woodward, who's on the screen very briefly, has mm -hmm. two moments mm -hmm. of incredible power. The part involving his family, the part involving his lover, the part involving the way he's treated by people is so much more important than just the structure of the courtroom. Who's going to win the case? Yes. We don't really care, and, and or we know, we know, and we still yeah, don't we, care. We know, and, and the arguments are, are, are with the exception of a couple of big speeches, seemingly impromptu there's speeches by nice Denzel touch. Washington. Other than that, there's one nice touch, and that's stuff. when the Mary Steenburgen character whispers to her, uh, to her colleague, I hate this case. Yeah. Coming up next, an oddball story with an oddball title. Johnny Depp stars in the family drama, What's Eating Gilbert Grape?